Hey guys, watch this video and it's gonna tell you every field day event that we do. That way you know what you're signing up for. Okay, your teachers will sign you up for stuff, except for dash one and dash two. I'll do that, all right? So this is dash one, it's a 40 yard dash. If we'll go outside, we'll race. If you win, you're dash one. If you get second, you're dash two. Um, so on field day, know what you are. And all it is is a 40 yard dash. You'll start at start the start line, whistle blows, you'll run to the finish. So we're gonna demonstrate what a 40 yard dash looks like. Okay, you ready? Yeah, all he's doing is running from the start line, he's running to the finish line. And that's the watch. Yard. It's relay one and it's also a relay two. They're the same thing. They're different events, but they're the same thing. Every relay race we do will have four people. Okay, two at the starting line and two at the end. Now, for today's purpose, we're only gonna have two just so everything's shorter. We don't have to waste time watching other people do it. But every relay will have four people. For relay one and two, you're gonna carry this baton. Okay, and you're gonna pass it off to the next person. All right, here we go. So normally there would be four on field day, but today it's just two. Ready? So she'll run down. She'll hand it off. The next person will run down. And on field day, she would hand it off to the third person. And we're good. You're gonna see it's a skip rope relay. Okay? Just like relay one and two, it's a long relay. One person down here at start line, one person 40 yards away. She'll skip it down. It's not a it's not a hold it and run, it's a skip. And if she messes up, it's okay. She's gonna stop. She's gonna fix it before she starts going again. She'll pass it off, the next person will go. On field day, there'll be four people, but today there's two to save time. Are right, you ready? So that's how skip rope relay should look, should look like, just like that. You'll hand it off, and every time that you do a relay, when you hand it off, you should sit down on field day so the judges know you're done. Really good example Watch. right there is golf ball and spoon relay. Okay, again, there'll be four people on field day, but today just two to save us time. Now, when you're doing golf ball and spoon, the golf ball is going to go in the spoon, and you must hold it straight out. So that's how it should look. Okay. I don't want my, your wrist cannot be turned in. It's gotta be straight out. You, cannot, you can't hold it with two, you can't hold the ball, you hold it with one. Now, my advice, when they pass it off to the next person, you should grab the golf ball and spoon with two hands so it doesn't fall. Now today, if they drop it, it's gonna bounce straight back up, it won't be hard to get it. But on field day, it's not. So if you drop it, on field day, it won't, it won't bounce all the way up. You must pick the ball up Put it on before you can restart. Okay, so we're gonna watch golf ball and spoon real quick. This is a half relay, it's short. On field day, there'll be a purple line painted at the middle of the track. So two people will be at the purple line, two people will be at the start line. All right, ready? You can have your arm straight, you can have your arm bent. My eyes, I, I like my arm bent a little bit, like that, so easier to control. Just the big thing is you can't turn your wrist to the inside. Hand it off, two hands, and now I go. Yep. <coughs> and that's golf ball. You're gonna watch this pinball relay. So you'll have a bowling pin, you'll have a soccer ball. When everybody's ready, this is how it should look. Either you can hold it one hand or you can hold it two. It doesn't matter to me. The only thing that you cannot do is hold the soccer ball. So when everybody's ready, we'll blow the whistle. Then they'll take off, all right? Don't hold it too high. Don't hold it too low. Hold it about eye level. If the, if the soccer ball falls off, you must stop, pick it up, put it back on, and then go, okay? One hand, two hand, you just can't hold the ball. Again, field day, there'll be four people. Today we just got two to save time. Are you ready? Just like golf ball and spoon, don't have it too far away from your body. Easier to control like that. 
on field day, you must sit down when your turn is over so the judges know that your lane is done. So always keep that in mind. And that's pinball relay. The video you're gonna watch, or the next event you're gonna watch, is hip hop relay. So in hip hop relay, you got this big blue ball that you're gonna bounce on. This is a short relay as well. So two people at the start line, two people at the, at the purple line, that's halfway in the middle, and you're gonna hop, okay? It's not a run and drag, you're gonna hop, hop, hop. All right, ready? Four people on field day, two people today. Just like Blake's doing it, hopping, it's not dragging. If you fall off, that's okay. Get back on, start, start jumping. <laughs> so he'll pass it off. Next person will go. That's okay, get back on. See, it happens. It happens to the best of us, right? You need to get back on and go. Don't go back, go forward. Alright, and that's hip hop relay. Are you okay? What you're gonna watch is hip hop toss. So one person from every homeroom will sign up for this. One boy one girl. All the boys will compete against each other, then all the girls. Now when you throw it, you can throw it underhanded, you can throw it overhand like a tomahawk, or you can throw it side on. You can crow hop and throw like this, it doesn't matter, all right? As long as you don't cross the line. So hip hop toss, all it is is just get the ball, back up a little bit. And all you're gonna do is just throw it. The top four people will get a ribbon. There's gonna be about 10 people. The top four get a ribbon. And all you do is just throw it, just like that. Okay? So, that's hip hop to watch, is egg toss. Now, these are real eggs, and it'll be two people from each home room. Top four get a ribbon, okay? So, here's what'll happen. We'll line up across. This side will have the egg. When I say throw, they will throw it, all right? If your egg busts, you're out. If your egg does not bust, you're still in. So that means if you catch it and it doesn't bust, you're in. If you drop it and it doesn't bust, you're in. Sometimes that happens, people get lucky, all right? So here's how it'll look like. The next person will not throw until I say. So this whole time, ready, throw, okay? Then we'll say, all right, this side, ready, throw, okay? If you make it over and back, this side will back up to me. And then guess what? We'll do it again. Ready, throw. Okay. And then ready, throw. So that's egg toss. And we'll keep working back until there's one person left. Top four will get a rip. The last event that we're going to talk about is, is tug of war. Everybody knows what tug of war is. Okay. There'll be a bracket with a random draw. So you may go against somebody on your pod. You may not. It'll be six boys, six girls. Boys against boys, girls against girls. If you win, you stay in. If you lose, you'll be out. Unless you make it to the final four, if you lose, you'll play the other loser for third and fourth. And if you win your final four game, you will play the other winner um, for first and second. So we don't really need to show tug of war, but tug of war is on there as well.